Welcome back to Dirt Today, Tona folks. Today, we've got Watkins Glen International. Million dollars up for grabs. I don't, I mean, I don't even really know what to say about it all because we practiced a bunch last night. We even started a race just to kind of see the flow of things so we're not blindsided by it when we go to do this recording. We were tired, but we were, we're slow. We're just slow. Um, I practiced a little bit this morning when I wasn't tired, knowing what the lap times are and we can't get above the best lap I mean, we barely barely got above the best lap time that we had uh the last time we ran this track now here's the weird part about it we just upgraded and i'm not saying i'm there's we are getting blown away by the speed and i think that has something to do with your short track or your road course build or whatever the cars run differently on different courses you know we're really fast on short tracks we do really well on super speedways we're pretty top 15 on speedways at this point and then you get to the road courses and if it weren't for all the accidents we would have been trying to get a top 20. This is what we're going to be aiming for this time as well as a top 20. Um, when, when I qualified last night, I don't remember what my qualifying time was, but we were 25th. So uh, just kind of an idea that that's what I need to keep in mind for when we get out there this time. And I just got done practicing, so I'm going to go ahead and probably just run right on to the qualifying stuff and see what we can do. Uh, based on what I just said, we're faster than Park and Henson. We're slower than Rudd and Stewart. This reminds me of Sonoma. This reminds me. I feel like that's what I said there as well. Anyway, let's do this. All right, folks, here we go down the front stretch for the qualifying lap. I was super ginger when I went down the uh, the first lap. I didn't want to damage the car before we come into this lap. And um, I made, you know, like I would do, I made a change to the car before coming out here that I haven't practiced with. So that's perfect. That's what we like to do because why why go with the car that we know exactly how it runs after many laps? Well, I wouldn't say many, but a fair amount of laps. I didn't practice this, of course, like I practiced Infineon because I had a whole week between recordings to do that race. So, and that one, it's funny I say that because this one just is so much grippier. There's not as many elevation changes and the ones that are there just don't seem to affect the car like these uh, like that race did. So, I'm hoping that we come away with the uh, 118 something here. That's pretty, that's been our consistent runs as long as we didn't make mistakes. So, that's kind of where I'm at here is hoping that we're able to come out of here with uh, 118 and that's, that's good enough for me. Just lit him up a little bit there, but that's okay. Only two places that I like to drop down into second gear are right there every once in a while at right, yeah, 118.6, so playing. that's not even a great lap, but um, every once in a while, if I break late, I would cut down to second gear here as well, but this one is a lot worse corner, corner one, so anyway, yeah, 22nd place, I'm just, ho we're going to get run over by some of these cars, I just know we are, so we have to re keep that in mind and let, you know, be a part of it but as things start to spread out that's where we're going to be better because we're going to be able to hopefully avoid some of the disasters that can and will happen welcome to the finger lakes region of new york state and watkins glen international this world famous road course leads drivers through a fast two and a half mile twisting 12 turns with banking ranging from six to ten degrees in the corners and great elevation changes one always has to be alert in order to conquer watkins glen You know, it's funny, I talked about the elevation changes, they're just not as bad here as they are at Sonoma, so you don't notice it nearly as much. Something happened with Jarrett there, he did not get started. I think that's similar to what we have happened to us when we're, um... Oh, yes. <laughs> Could it be? Could it have been Kenseth? I mean, completely, I wasn't even paying attention to who was next to me. And I, I mean, I got into him, but it was just kind of funny that that's how that occurred. Um, yeah, this is different than the practice, too. When we were in practice, we couldn't do what we're doing right now. Everybody that was around us was just flying around us. And I'm sure this has a bit to do with people checking up higher up in the field because we have Kenny Schrader coming up on us pretty good here. There. Bus stop is the bus stop. We'll definitely, yeah, we'll do that. Well, geez, come on. Really, dude? Oh, my goodness. Why? 
Well, there's that. We don't even get around one because... And I hit my brakes. That's all I did when he bounced off of us. I hit my brakes to let him go. And he goes shooting across the track. And, uh... As long as we don't... You know, we've got front left damage, so... I don't... I'm... I'm tempted to drop back, go into the pits, and just go to the end of the line and start this over, but... Not start it over, but... We're going to stay out. I don't feel... The car doesn't feel like that damage is actually a big deal. Well, I'd like to get some laps under us, you know. So we're going to... We'll stay out. Look at all the damage of all of these other cars. So we'll stay out and see. It's going to actually potentially not be a great thing if we stay out with all the other cars that might go in for damage. We'll find out what they do, though. Okay, pace car is off. I need to shift immediately because first gear going around that corner was going to be no bueno. I don't know how long that took, but I will check the next time. You know what I do. I immediately jump on, on me phone because caution's sake forever. Only one car pit. Actually, with Junior passing us, we're back in 16th where we were after that car pit. So that's okay. I think the only car that did pit would have been Marlin, who is the car who toasted himself by doing what he did. We're just trying here, you know? We're just trying to get through a couple laps without... I see a lot of smoke in front of us. We got another car that's gone sideways. It's Ryan Newman. Hopefully everyone clears him so we can get at least one, one full green lap or green flag lap done. And it looks like we will. So, um, <laughs> perhaps not. We are not the uh, only ones to have to worry about racing this track <laughs> because that was pretty crazy how quickly that all kind of occurred. And we had another car that was sideways in that carousel but here we go our first lap that we actually start well at speed that's good maybe see now I wish I had been able to practice around cars that were closer to my speed because what I'm seeing here is that they they're going slower on the entrance of those corners and then they're accelerating pretty hard off and I you know in a car that's maybe made for it if I was doing like um, F1 or something maybe that's how I'm driving it thinking I can get in and just really hold a line and accelerate hard out before we're even halfway through that corner but I'm trying to I'm trying I'm trying here I'm also trying to do this while I'm driving talking to you guys which is it's going well I guess um I will say that we have the we have 14 to the tank and 44 in the race, so we got to stop three three times, I believe, because you get 36 out of two stops, starting with a full tank. So we'll have to stop three times, and then we'll and then we'll do what we can to just keep driving and hoping that people don't. Uh, well, that was as good as our qualifying lap, pretty much. And hoping that people don't screw up or we don't screw up. Those are those are two key things because cautions here suck. They take forever. Yeah, I came in in that way too shallow. You know what usually happens when I was practicing and I'd lose it on the left part of the S is I would realize I came into the right turn too shallow so then try to go wide on the left side so I could get a better entrance which you've already screwed the whole freaking thing up because you came in shallow on the first part of the S once you screw up the S you've like screwed the whole thing up and so I would usually make that adjustment thinking well I can just adjust for it ooh, ooh, keep it there alright and then I would end up driving off the track well not driving off the track driving into a freaking wall I almost just drove off the track because I'm a moron um whew. We have got some racing to do. And judging on the length of this race as far as the video goes. Like, oh, jeez. Oh. Never mind. I was going to say we're going to speed things up for you or we'll just not talk and just run the race and say things every once in a while based on what's happening with the race. But 
Nary, you mind? Eight in the tank. 39 to go. We'll see you after the caution. Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Here we go again. Uh, three cars pits. Two in front of us, one behind us. All clear. Car left. Oh my goodness. I was on my brakes at my point. Car left. And that whole thing just happened. That was ridiculous. Car left. We gotta focus because I'm pretty sure we eh, we got bad damage on the front now. Good news is we're actually not really far away from pitting. But yeah, that was weird. I mean, I know that they're breaking. I, I broke earlier than my normal breaking point. What I meant was I broke where I should have been able to break and not have that whole thing have happened. I was on the brakes fully. The only reason why we were slowing down as much as we were is because I was actually um, downshifting. I talked about that before. The brakes feel weird on here, but I looked at my control settings and we have no dead zone and we're 100%. So I don't know why. The brakes seem to do that. I'm starting to wonder if the gas is doing that too, though, because we talk about uh, when I'm doing stuff, my start in the other races until we get up to speed, we do we are affected by that. So I might have to look a little bit further into it and see if there's anything I can do to increase the responsiveness of those two things. Because, yeah, watch. We'll break right here. Oh, of course. Of course, we break right here, and it's perfect. Whatever. Um, four laps in the tank. Again, nobody else is pit. I mean, like, four total cars have pit. No big deal. We're good enough to hang around 15th as long as we don't mess up too bad. I know Labani back there is pretty fast, but it looks like once we're climbing up the speed, we're able to maintain fairly well. After this race, I'll look again at my control settings and see. I'm not going to do it now because we've gotten used to how this drives. I don't want to... Whoa, whoa. Kenseth. Yeah, I knew. Oh, I was like, yeah, Kenseth, please come back on the track and wreck me because that would just be the best thing ever to see. So this this race is crazy. Uh, I love, I love games where the AI screws up on their own. There's so many games out there that the, the cars constantly ride on a rail. And this game has those aspects, especially when going into the pits. You never see somebody mess up going to the pits, which isn't realistic. It happens. But anyway, um, you uh, something like that or going into the bus stop and things. It's nice to see those those issues with the other vehicles. I broke way late there because I was trying to push it. Eh, we did all right. See if I can go wide in. No. I got to figure out the entrance to that because that really, that's how the whole, oh, 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 I think we're just tight because we're damaged. Well, now we've, now we're equally damaged. Now we're equally screwed. That's beautiful. Jared's going to pass us because I didn't downshift after I did that. We'll pass him back right here. Hopefully he doesn't slam into us in the bus stop because I got to get on it really well, never mind. He just tried to avoid us, All and right. he's... <laughs> what on her? Oh, people. I mean, I don't know. I see cars behind us that are getting pretty messed up. I'm shocked that I haven't heard that the uh, cautions come out for that. That's... I saw him hit the brakes to avoid us. He must have lost it, and he ends up back up on track doing that. We don't have a lot of turn because left and right is damaged. So we just have to be careful. And uh, let's see if it tricks to two at the line. Yeah, okay. So, eh, I mean, at this point, maybe I'll go two laps around. I don't know. I had to do something stupid there because I was clicking through stuff during my breaking point. That was brilliant. I'll just run this lap and not really talk much. I don't know.
right, we're gonna pit this next time around. As long as the gauges are correct, we should easily be able to get around and be okay. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be sitting in the pit for a second because we have. To, well, there's the answer. We'll actually run it in the caution. I don't know if it'll. I don't know if I go through the caution. Is it gonna cause a problem? I guess we're going to find out because I'm going to actually go through the whole lap and not uh, I'm going to go through the whole lap and not have it um, go into the pit right away. So we'll see if the car just is able to drive even though we're out of fuel or if we have problems. I think because it'll sputter for a while we're alright. I'm not really sure but You're low on fuel. Bro I'm well aware that I'm low on fuel but we have a caution so I don't have much of an option. Robbie Gordon really trying to get to the line in front of us. None of this matters because we're only reason why I'm racing hard is because I don't want Robbie Gordon to run into us. But yeah. Everyone else is doing the same thing, so we're going to do it. There we go. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll catch you after. I think it's like seven minutes for the caution without pitting. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So when you pit, you, uh, you end up in, uh, no, don't run into me, you right. bastard. When you pit, you end up, uh, it's like 10 minutes, the caution. All clear. Oh, I was so All not right. willing to get run into. See, that's part of it. You see how they're about to, they're going like 150 and then they drop right down All to right. 20. I know exaggerate, but it looks insane. They, they look like a starship coming in out of warp. And just all of a sudden they stop. I can't do that. I'm like slow and casual here, folks. Slow and casual. Ugh, come on. I'm full on my brakes way early. Unbelievable. I can't. I can't stop. Like. I know you're like, well, by now, shouldn't you have figured out to break even earlier? Y you would think, right? Or probably not, because I look at a car that's 600 yards in front of me, and I slam on my brakes. There should be no reason why I hit him. Stay right. It's just annoying. All clear. We're fine. Because we are not going to run into anything else. If we do... Probably wreck the radiator. If we do again, probably wreck the engine. So we definitely won't be doing those things. We're just going to drive for a bit here.
right. Still there. The yellow's out. Well, we're going to go to the back of the pack because we're pitting. Um, why did I run into him? Because literally I saw the slightest movement that he looked like he was going to fade left to go into the corner. So I thought I had an in. And guess what I didn't have? Oh, that's right, folks. I didn't have the in. So that sucked. But we'll handle it by uh, simply pitting. And that'll be also kind of like a penalty for us for doing that. Should have just stayed on the brakes, but I thought, well, we're running pretty good. We might be able to sneak by him on the inside before the corner. And we didn't. So that sucked. Oh, I don't right. care. Labani can go by. The reason why I was only... Again, the reason why I drive so fast under right before caution isn't the Great race to the now. line because we have to pit anyway. It was the... Uh, it was that I was trying to not get wrecked as we're driving for the caution or for the yeah the caution the start of the caution so anyway we're gonna pit get it fixed and be back out on track way back there get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. i just don't even want to be involved with any of these cars Car left. obviously i don't want to be involved with them we're back in 30 second because we pit as a punishment. Okay, the I'm breaking here. Of course. Of course I do that and we aren't even close to running into anybody. Oh, and then we... <laughs> Whatever. Oh my goodness, we damaged the engine. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, well, we're running it out. I don't even care. We don't... We're not getting any kind of flutter in the RPMs. We're just going to run it out. I think it's like 7% damage or whatever, which... It affects you, but not that much. We're already back here. This is... This is where all the fun happens. Whoop. There we go. Free spot. Free spots. All right. All clear. Another more contact for poor Burton. Oh, my goodness. He's not even for position. That's weird. He's not, I mean, we're on the lead lap, which means he's actually a lap down. Yeah, our car is running fine. Even though it has engine damage, it's just not enough to matter that much. We'll get through our stint, which is actually off of theirs. We're a little bit off schedule now from everyone else's stint. So... Just want to roll through this corner real quick. Uh, of course, then we can't get on it. Oh <laughs> uh, no, it's not a place where you pass. Not now because this is before they extended it out to pavement around the corner, so you could really drive fast through the corner. I mean, we're and this is even without an engine damage. The triple-digit cars, we have a hard time passing as well. Oh, yeah, this is bad. This is bad for us. I'm turning. I'm off. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, I'm not run. I'm doing whatever I can, but we were actually able to turn. Oh, come on. All right. I mean. Ah. I can't wait to come here with a fully upgraded car and actually be out front, stay out front, pass lap cars, and hopefully not have to deal with this crap. Stay right. Still there. I don't even know how much... Yeah, 7%. I was going to say, I don't know how much engine damage we have. 20 laps left, which means we've... <laughs> crap, 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 crap. Didn't break. Didn't even look. Was looking at everything else. We have, uh... A lot of, well, wow. We just lost so many spots from that. All right. All clear. Maybe I just shouldn't talk. Maybe I should just freaking watch the track and drive. That's an idea. There's Kenseth bouncing off into another. All clear. Unbelievable. How bad are we now? Still seven, but now we have radiator damage. Well, we're pitting. 
because we absolutely have to pit. Do not wreck the car because you're mad. Do not wreck the car because you're mad. I didn't, I saw Ken Smith come back on the track. It didn't, it just didn't look to me like they were slowing down that much. So I didn't break. And then they were slowed down. And so I broke and we didn't, we didn't do anything. So that sucked. Doesn't matter. We're going to pit again. <laughs> we'll come back with, I don't know, 17, 16 to go. And then the next time we pit will be the last time we have to pit. This is weird. Everyone's pitting as well, so good for them. Get set. The race is going green. All right. There's the green flag. <laughs> I'm not cool. saying that I'm looking forward to the next race already. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Thank you. But I'm not oh, not looking forward clear. to the next race. We broke way before the numbers. Okay. <laughs> I'm like I'm calling my I'm calling myself to let you I'm letting you guys know who are watching like we were not even close to all breaking right. at our normal breaking point because we're being so cautious with all these other clear cars. Left. Car left. All clear. I'm just wanting I just we gotta we gotta break before the bus stop too like before the breaking point at the bus stop too. This is this is your all reminder. Clear. We're breaking right here. We're breaking. <laughs> like, come on. We are doing what. But here's the other problem then. We also have to be aware, even though I'm fully gassing it. Well, I don't like this. I was going to say, even though I was fully gassing it, I also have to be aware that there could be a car behind me that decides they're going to come through the whole thing at 400 miles an hour. And that, folks, is not fun. So I don't think I've ever been this close to this many cars coming into this turn, but I just kept kind of doing the same thing, breaking way early. Look at... Aw, I'm so proud of me for learning. Okay, well, we had to break way early there because wood on our inside here, or in, right in front of us, is mucho, mucho else slower than us. Suppose we gotta do the same breaking thing. I just... Still there. All right. <laughs> Keep it straight. Go, 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 go. There we go. Clear right. All clear. Oh, we can't. We can't hold it at that speed. A little out of shape there, but the point is, is that we're not behind those cars anymore. So hopefully we can break a little bit later on the bus stop right here. Even though there's a lot of cars in front of us, I have to keep in mind that the cars behind us, if we broke super early, might not. And that's always concerning. Oh, thought I had space. Clear left. Oh, of course. What? Dude, I barely even moved him and I have engine damage. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Whatever. I had to, I had to drop it to first gear to prevent myself from... This is, it's so frustrating. Everyone's breaking point is different. And apparently if you breathe next to a car, your car breaks and not breaks as in stops. It just, well, it could stop by breaking, but I mean, breaking in the regular sense of you just done broke your shit. All right. Um, well, you know, we're just gonna, I, I, it sucks because Watkins Glen in the NASCAR circuit, I know I've not really done the Roval. I've done the Charlotte road course on um, iRacing with like the MXs and stuff like that. I've never, I've never actually run the Roval. So that'll be a thing. I don't, I've done Daytona a lot with other cars, not NASCAR. So that's not a thing. I know that's not in this game. I'm just thinking about road courses because Watkins Glen, as far as the NASCAR circuit goes, is always been my favorite road course so I'm not I'm not wanting to not race here I just want to race here with a car that's fully upgraded so we're not stuck back here hopefully but you know part of it is me learning 
honestly, part of it's me learning how to be around cars that have to slam on their brakes because we're not on a uh, on an oval, so it's completely different. Cars stack up and they have a lot of issues. We're dealing with seven percent am engine damage, and that was our best lap of the race. Oh, we just punched Skinner. That probably cost us our radiator. Yep. Next one will cost us our engine, period. So, you know, we'll keep that in mind. Look at how banged up Bush is. We never hit him. He's just completely destroyed until, until we get past his regular draw distance and they just draw a regular car. radiator is of no consequence. Still there. Good for Mike Mack up here fighting against uh you know I know it's Wallace who's one of the lower tier Stay double wide. digit cars, Still but there. 116 is one of the lower tier uh triple digit cars, so the fact that he's up there battling it out with Mike Wallace and staying in front of us is pretty awesome for him. Doing whatever I can to keep some form of speed right here. Newman's a lap down, I think, because he got wrecked earlier in the race. All right. You're three wide. All clear. Nobody wants that. I don't know how we kept it actually off of both of those walls, but we absolutely needed to because if we didn't, we were about to uh, blow our engine. Yeah, off of those corners like that. Look at this. I mean, we just have, well, we're damaged too, but we just don't have the, oh, he does slow down there. Hmm. That's the other problem. I've run this track a lot with other types of vehicles. And so my mind says you should be able to hit the S curves and really barely slow down at all. And that's just not the case. Clear left. And we get another popping for... In the same spot, I think, that he actually got wrecked earlier. Well, I wasn't... All I saw was smoke, but he either got wrecked or he was the cause of it. Interesting. Yikes. No big deal. Somehow we have rear our rear end looks pretty much perfect, so I don't understand that. But somehow we have rear end damage as well. Still there. Is it everywhere? Yeah, I mean except for our suspension, we have damage on pretty much everything. Well, that was actually an okay drive off, but Hertz is faster than us in general, so. Obviously, I, I've learned not to go into the bus stop side by side in this game. 
We'll see how this uh, translates out when we race this track in NASCAR Heat 5. Oh, also, I don't know if we caused two of the cautions in this race, and I don't know if that's enough to make it so that we are going to not make any money on this race. It's really a good thing that we have some money in the bank because this could be a very costly race for us. Seven left in the tank. Probably six at the line, right? No, seven still, so. Ten to go. Of course, we got to fuel up. I'm kind of hoping it's under caution so we can just get full service. Otherwise, we won't. I mean, we'll come in just for gas. There's no point in really fixing the car at this, if, if that's all we end up having to do. Skinner making a pretty decent run at us right now. Enoch probably won't be able to, but we may, I mean, we, we, we may finish 23rd. And that sucks. I think that puts us two cup races in a row where we didn't finish in our best possible positioning. The other one was, wasn't that, I don't remember where it was. Wherever we just ran, of course, you just saw it probably a couple days ago, but Wherever we just ran in the cup series, when we went onto the pits, that's what it was. We went to the pits and we ended up getting toasted. That was terrible and stupid. You can stay. Mike We're just turned here. us. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I swear to you, when I got in front of him, I was driving straight. We did not. Oh my goodness, this is... We're not a 23rd place car, because Enoch can probably pass us now, because we have so much damage. I guess the most important thing is not to be the DNF, honestly. Yeah, he's able to just drive past us. We don't have the speed anymore. We don't have the control. Oops, sorry. Oop, oop. Figure it out. You're fine. All right. Wow. Oh. Drive it like a bat out of hell for as long as I can, that's for sure. Looks like someone pit. Looks like multiple lead lap cars pit. It's not like they're going to lose their lap, so it doesn't matter because as soon as if a caution were to come out, we would pit anyway. And they just get their spot back, so it's no big deal. It's such too big of a track for them to lose a lap, unless they got damage and that's why they pit. I don't know. Wow, we don't have any turn there. We had to definitely get on the brakes. That's not fun. Because these cars have a huge run because they're pretty much normal. Okay, caution does fly. Well, that's our savior. We're going to go through this here and uh, go in for our last service and try to put together some variation of a reasonable finish to the race. And um, is that the line? At the line, there will be seven to go because it includes lap 39 itself. So it's 39 to 40. Five is seven. I know that doesn't make sense, but it is. Hey, guess who didn't stop? <laughs> I just... And I just damn it. I'm going in the pit right now. I'm not even going to the line. I'm going right to the pits. Focusing is uh, obviously not my strong suit, apparently. I don't care that the pits are closed. We're going to get a black flag for speeding anyway. We're just going to be here for an hour. It's fine. Get set. The race is 
All right. We, um, I think we're a lap down. I think we got, I think we went a lap, yep. We went a lap down when we did the pit thing. That was on me. So, none of this matters. Best we can get is 29th. Pretty sure. So that sucks. Or maybe 28th, but it was all right. I had damaged the engine so much. I was just frustrated. I've just frustrated the whole race because of how it's gone. But, oh well. Run out these last few laps and move on to the next one. Still there. I just got thrown off the track by Sadler. Well, that'll probably bring out a caution to end the race. No? Be damaged? Oh, we just got body damage. Dude, I barely freaking touched him at all. Still there. All clear. The bush is ticking down real fast, almost like he's either damaged or he's in the pit or something. What is going on with him? He is. It's weird. Kind of caught up with it, so I think it's all right now for him. Stay right. Still there. Oh, what a rough day here at Watkins Glen. We all just drive into here with the hopes that I don't blow my engine, which I just... Smash the crap out of the front end of my car. I'm not even looking at it. Not even looking. I'm looking at it. Hey, wrong button. Oh, it's just a radiator. So this is, yeah, this is the best we can do. We just want to stay in front of daily, I guess, and finish 28th. With all the damages and a 28th place finish. 28th place, I think, is actually one of our sponsorship goals. So that part's okay. But, um... I don't think that, uh... Car left. Clear left. That's actually fun. I don't think that we're going to come out of this one in the green. Even though we didn't cause a majority of the cautions, I still don't think that we're going to come out of this one in the green. I guess we'll find out in just a couple laps. Certainly interesting. No, no! Holy crap. At least I turned and got the car turned sideways. That head on. Wow, we can't, we can't control the car. <laughs> oh, just wow. Yeah, we couldn't uh we had headed into that corner, we were done. It's funny on uh this is kind of an example of modern versus classic Forza 7, Forza Motorsport 7 on PC. I ran this race on the um, longest race setting it was like an hour and something minutes and i didn't i didn't Last even lap. and All no I, I never use whatever they assistance or whatever obviously that'd be stupid but i was able to run that entire race with whatever high speed car i was using and i didn't even once have any incidences racing around full packs of cars blah 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 no incidences I come out here, I can't even race this track alone without wrecking the car. But I think that will change quite a bit when, um, I think that'll change quite a bit when we have a fully upgraded car and can 
qualify better and have a little more grip in it. We don't have the we don't have the highest suspension setting on the car either or whatever upgrade. And that's a big deal. So here we go. Coming around to the checkered flag. I don't think we I don't know if we even have any speed ups in this with how many cautions there were and how many laps were actually handled because of the cautions. I'm not sure that we would have had speed ups. So I guess we'll find out. But it just seems like in the in the spirit of an hour or keeping it close to an hour, this video is an hour and 40 minutes right now. I feel like cutting out the cautions is actually going to have us not have to speed any of this up. So there it is. 28th place finish. Roughest race for us in a very long time. All right. Top five. Ricky Rudd, Mark Martin, Casey Atwood, Tony Stewart, and Kevin Harvick. How much money did we lose? We lost all the money. Yep. We were the cause of too many cautions. That sucks. Good thing we had some in the bank. Watkins Glen with Ricky Rudd's victory at Watkins. Nobody cares. Good job to the 28 crew for that victory. This drops us back down to 18. Lost a couple spots, but aren't reasonably out of it. Still have 228,000 in the bank. Our next race here, Michigan International Speedway. Hopefully, we can get a really nice run in there. 1.15 million up for grabs. So we're going to go ahead and uh, call it, folks. That's the end of this episode. If you're still here, I mean, you're the MVP at this point because that was super frustrating to watch, or at least because that was super frustrating to drive. So it had to be completely frustrating to watch. So I really appreciate your support. And I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And of course, until next time, and as always, you take care.